to me, passion comes from doing what you were born to do. Um, so the times that I feel most passionate about what I'm doing is when I feel like I'm operating out of my gifts. Um, and I think that to me is a good starting point in this whole idea of um, chasing passion. That to me, it's about operating out of your gifts, operating out of the things that God put in you, the, the things that you're supposed to be doing, and you'll become passionate when you're, when you're operating in those, in those areas. So that to me, you know, you can lose passion, you can gain passion, but as long as you're operating out of your gifts, you're typically going to become passionate about what comes from that. And so that so many people rely on like, what are, what are my passions or, you know, what's my purpose? But ultimately it boils down to what are your gifts, which are God given. And just like you said, you knew what your gifts were. What I know is that if you go all in and operate out of those gifts, you will become passionate about that process. It's impossible not to. That's why it was placed within you. Exactly. And so if you can focus on your gifts and not focus on the, how do I get there? Not focused on the, what industry do I take these gifts into? Just keep focusing on the gifts that were given to you. Then you will ultimately find that purpose and then will ultimately become passionate about that process. But I think that the very beginning of what you just said, when he told you for 30 days to think and pray and meditate on it, I think the majority of people out there that are trying to figure out like, what am I passionate about? Trying to figure out what are my gifts? Trying to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. They give it like 30 minutes, <laughs> you know? And, they, and then they get frustrated after 30 minutes that they didn't figure it out and they move on to the next thing and, and they're in this constant state of, I don't know what to do, but they're not really trying to do anything. And you spent that 30 days trying to figure it out and the, and the cream rose to the top. And, and it makes sense that you were so intensely focused and you figured it out when most people just aren't willing to put the work in to figure out what it is that they want to put the work in too. <laughs> while, you're, while you're trying to figure out what you're most passionate about, put an insane amount of work ethic into what you're doing currently. Because that <laughs> in itself will create opportunities that you can get passionate about. You're not gonna, you cannot just sit down one day and get a blank piece of paper and say, okay, what is my dream career? What is my, what is my passion that I wanna go all in on? These things will happen over time and it comes from putting in massive action, massive effort over a period of time for those, for those passions to evolve, for you to, for you to create more self-awareness, for you to have a better idea of who you are and what your strengths are. How can you figure out what your strengths are if you don't try things? One of the quotes that I had written down that I had heard you say before was that you had made a decision that this is what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. You yeah. said, because the first 10 years I did it because I love the money, but I wasn't sold on this being my career. Yeah. And so for me, you know, I'm in the insurance business. I have zero passion for insurance. Mm -hmm. But my gifts are to lead, train, and coach people and to give them a vehicle that they can apply their hard work ethic into to go do whatever in the world that they want to do. Yeah. And insurance just happens to be the vehicle with which we provide them. Security happens to be the vehicle that you provide your, your people to be able to do what they're doing. But I think you can get so bogged down, just as you said, in the how that you know this dynamic of learning to then go do versus doing to learn <laughs> like just go do and then God will reward that action by putting that next step in place or by making that next step appear at least a little bit more clear just by putting forth the action only if it's based off those gifts though.